Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have my Ipsy bag for, whoa, kitty cat, um, for, what month is it, May? Um, to unbox. I'm in a different room, so sorry, and none of those characters up there are me. Um, I just really quickly set up my camera and I'm going to just show you guys what I got, um, before, like, so much time runs by. And, okay, um, the theme is Fresh Picks. And, I don't know, take your picture of the da-da-da-da-da, try and win the contest thing. Um, whatever. Okay, this is what the bag looks like. Oh, this is what the bag looks like. That's the back. This is the front. It's very, um, like, the eco-friendly canvas material. Um, I'm going to give it to my mom because I know she'll like it. Um, little green leaves, and they say Ipsy in certain areas. So, um, very cute. And then the little Ipsy uh, tag thing that you can see. Is that showing up backwards? God, I hope not. Okay, um, my first product is the Pacifica, I think it's an eyeshadow duo. Um, I believe everybody got an eyeshadow duo. You either got the, like, lavender and, like, sparkly white, or you got this one that I got, which is the Natural Beauty item number duo number one. Um, I have seen a lot of, I've seen quite a few videos since I got my bag. I wanted to see what other people got. Coda, seriously, calm your face down cat's going nuts. I think she thinks I'm talking to her. Um, but anyway, I've seen a lot of people on... Stop it, Coda, for real. Just sit there, very still, for like four minutes. Um, I've seen a lot of people with the lids, sorry if the camera shakes, um, fall off, but mine hasn't fallen off yet. But anyway, these are the colors that I got. Coda, seriously. Hang on a second. Sorry about that. Um, these are the colors. There's like a bronzy color and then this like what looks to be a champagne color. But actually when you swatch it, it, oh my god, an air freshener just went off. It's going to smell like really strong air freshener scent. Um, oh my god. I'm like right in its path too. I chose a bad spot and poor timing. I think it only goes off once every 40 minutes. Poor timing on my, my end. Okay, so I'm swatching both of them. So, like, the lighter color, I don't, I don't even think it's going to show up, but it's right here, vertically, I went like this, and it's so light that you can't even really see it. It's like a pink iridescence, and that's pretty much it. And then this bronze color, for some reason, it doesn't show up very well on camera. It's really pretty. I think it's a really, really pretty color. Maybe if I, like, try and create a heavy swatch. I'm sorry. I've been tanning, so my hands are kind of tan, so it doesn't really show up very well, especially on camera. Because nothing shows up as well as it is in person. You're not even going to be able to see it. It does have, like, a sheen to it. It's a really pretty color. So I like this color. Not a fan of that one. I will definitely use this, like, till it hits pan and then probably toss it. Um, So that's nice. And the next thing I got is, like, Eva NYC Main Tamer Leave-In Cream. This is what it looks like. I don't know if I, like, told you anything I'm supposed to tell you about this Pacifica thing. Pacifica, you can buy at Target, so there you go. Um, anyway, Main Tamer Leave-In Cream with Caravis Protein and Argan Oil teams and moisturizes unruly hair without weighing it down for all hair types. And it's 100 milliliters, or 3.38 fluid ounces. And it's basically, it just says apply a few pumps, I don't know why it says pumps because it's not a pump, to the palm and massage. Or So I am excited to try this. This is a good sample size. I will get a lot of uses on it, but actually, I mean, and it actually feels like it's full to the top. I think it was sealed and I had to take the seal off and I can't remember what, it smells like Oh, uh, why did I do that? I knew I was going to do that. Oh my god, I knew I was going to do that. I don't know why I did it. It it doesn't really have a scent in here, but for some reason I remember when I was smelling it, it smelled like um just a mixture of a bunch of soaps, like classic bar soaps. So, um yeah, I'm excited about this. And it's made in Israel and they do not test on animals. Where does it say that? It says it somewhere. I believe. I don't know. Whatever. I don't think Israel tests on animals anyway, so that doesn't matter. Excuse my hair, by the way. All right, the next product I got is the Boo Boo Cover Up Concealer, and it is 0.34 ounces or 10 milliliters, and it looks like this. 
And this would normally be a very good match to um, my skin. However, like I said, I've been tanning, so I'm a lot darker. So right now I have to like mix my um, colors together. And, um, but it's, it's very creamy. Um, I think it's probably like, it's not like full coverage, like a full coverage concealer. But I did, I do think that I saw a video where they said it retails for like $19 or something like that for this concealer and this is a full size. So pretty good deal, I think. And this is made in Canada. And again, that's what it looks like. I kind of like smeared it out. And you can kind of see just a little bit how it blends. Oh my God, Coda! This cat is like playing with a blanket as if that's fun. All right, next product I got is the Jersey Shore Sun Sands Tan Pure White Mineral Sunscreen All Natural Anti-Aging SPF 35. I believe everyone got a sunscreen of some kind. This is 97% UVB broad spectrum protection, so that's against the burning rays. And it says no petrochemicals, and it's basically zinc oxide, 25%, which is their, the ingredient in it. And it's certified organic, non-nano and non-GMO ingredients, paraben-free, PABA-free, PABA, PABA, whatever, fragrance-free, biodegradable, and cruelty-free. This is what it looks like, and it is 0.5 ounces. And um, it's just white, and... I'm afraid this is going to splatter out. It just smells kind of like a sunscreen. Like a zinc, pretty much. So, that's all it smells like. And then the last product that I got is this Me E Beauty Be Nourished Night Cream. This is probably the product I'm most excited about. Infused with pure honey, 100% natural, and it says use over cleansed skin nightly for all skin types, paraben-free and um, recyclable and what else? It is, um, I believe it's made in New York. It has a whole bunch of, like, cool ingredients. I don't know, I think. But, like, the main ingredient is pure honey. But it has, I don't know, like, aloe and vitamin E and avocado oil and, you know, stuff like that. So, anyway, this is what it looks like. It's a tiny little sample. And at first I was like, oh, this is cool, you know. And then I opened it up. And I don't know if this is even going to show. I don't, I want to get the angle. You can, can you see how low down it is from the lid? It's like halfway full. And I'm sure, I'm like almost sure of it. That this is one of those raised bottoms where like the bottom doesn't actually go to the bottom. It like only goes down to here. So it's a small amount. So usually if it's a small amount, it's probably an expensive product. It doesn't really smell. If it does, it smells like honey or cinnamon toast crunch or something like that. It's just too light to even be able to tell. Like anybody smelling it would be like, no, there's no smell. Um, the only reason why I think it smells like honey is because it's bee nourished with pure honey. So that's again what it looks like. Sorry if my camera's blurry. And this was 0.25 ounces or seven milliliters. So for just to show you again, my bag was the green leaf bag. I got a leave-in. Um, cream for my hair, a full size concealer, a sample of the night cream. I'm holding that really oddly. Um, an eyeshadow duo and a sunscreen. So this is a really good deal for ten bucks. I was, I was okay. I did not have high hopes for this bag. I seen other people's videos, and they were not good. Um, like hand cream, hair cream, sunscreen you know, face cream. It was like a whole bunch of skin stuff and not really much beauty. So I felt bad for some people after I saw my bag and I was happy, of, like satisfied with it. Um, I really didn't have high hopes. I didn't look at my glam room. I didn't want to because I didn't want to be disappointed. Um, I just wanted to be surprised. So there you have it. That's my bag for um, May 2014. Let me know what you guys got in your bags. If you made a video, let me know because I want to come watch it because I'm addicted to watching them. Thumbs up, thumbs up if you like these kinds of videos, and I will see you guys in my next one. Oh, and subscribe if you haven't. See ya. Bye, guys.